Hey there. So now uh, we will start with uh, the quantum physics part. So uh, the most exciting part, I guess. So before we start coding the buttons in the button frame, it's good for us to, you know, have a look at all these buttons. What do they mean? So if you can see here, uh, in this button frame, we have a lot of buttons and we have two categories of buttons. One is these uh, buttons that you can see, which are uh, the actual gates, quantum gates. They, all these buttons here, X, Y, Z, R, X, R, Y, R, Z, S, S, D, T, T, D, and H. All of them denote quantum gates and they perform these operation of quantum gates. So the, I call them quantum buttons and all the buttons that you see here in sort of light pink color these are the second class of buttons that we have and these are just sort of utility buttons or for user comfort so let us understand the, the functions of these buttons before we dive deep into coding so you know what you're doing so before we will code all the buttons, I will tell you what are the functions of all these buttons, what is the quantum physics that goes behind uh, all these. So, and before we will start coding uh, these buttons, uh, you will be having some basic understanding of uh, all the single qubit gates and all these buttons and what button means what. So, let's first talk about all these buttons, the four buttons quit visualize clear and about so about button let's click it so you can see here well, what is this uh, you can see the logo the first thing to notice we have the logo the same as our main window and if you remember from the previous video i told you that uh, we will uh, we were setting default is equal to uh, logo.ico and this is the reason so even if we have any other window that pops up it will be still this you can see we have a few options here nothing to worry then the title is about now the same way we gave quantum glasses to this window we can give it to this then this is a text at a sort of heading uh, that we gave about quantum glasses so this is a visualization tool for single qubit rotation on the block sphere and uh, this is created by me jay shah and we have used Python, Tkinter, and Qiskit for this project. Now we have all these buttons and their definitions along with uh, these uh, the, the commands that you can see use. So on this in this column, what you see are the commands that you can use to uh, apply these rotations. So all of these buttons actually apply rotations and uh, then uh, we'll uh, see in detail what, what all this means that you can see on your screen. The special note for these X, R, X, R, Y and R, Z buttons and uh, we, we will also see error handling and this is related to that and another note that we want our users to understand so this about quantum glasses this about button just displays this text this complete text so this in uh, this uh, whole window will give the entire uh, overview of the project to the user so when the user is using he knows what things means what so for example flips the state of qubit when you use this x gate so we are just just given the function of a particular gate and the command you can use again you don't need to worry about this we will be seeing this shortly what everything means here and uh, now just let me just close it gone so that that was everything about the about button uh, and uh, now let me get to the clear button so let's see, I have just uh, applied a few gates. I'm 
trying to visualize something but uh, after i completed this visualization i want to visualize some other set of operations so i don't want to close the window and then again run everything uh, again run the program for a next visualization so that's why uh, this clear button comes into the picture so what this clear button does is it clears the screen very obvious and the other thing that it does is that it, uh, it reinitialize the circuit to the initial state so when we apply all these commands there are uh, the various operations that goes on and it changes the state of the circuit of the qubit so when we press clear it also brings the qubit back to its initial state so these are the two functions of the clear command and then we come to the visualize button after the clear button uh, we come to this visualize button and it is the most important button in the entire project so say for example i press these two buttons here but how i visualize it so we click on visualize and uh, another pop-up window will come up i will taking time responding it happens uh, there we go you can see you can see it here these rotations that are going on and it's okay if you don't understand this so it goes here so this is the rotation and you can see you save the figure you can just you know drag it here everything have a, have a better look but that's all and uh, we set original view so get back to the original view and this functionality is provided by QSkit so uh, we what uh, we will do uh, is that you use that uh, already provided functionality so we can just build over it so visualize button has only one function that visualizes everything you see just that and another button here is this quit so once uh, you have visualized your circuit and you want to close this application you can click on quit gone so it closes the application it aborts it it's done uh, so that was a uh, four buttons uh, let me show you again the project yeah so in this video we saw the function of these four buttons about displays the uh, info about the project clear clears the clear button clears the screen and it reinitializes the circuit to the initial state visualize button helps us to visualize the circuit that we have typed and the quit button uh, just uh, closes the application so these are the four buttons that you have seen in the next video we will see some buttons uh, in uh, some uh, of the of these buttons and see what is the math behind the mathematics that drives these transformations and uh, how we use QSkit for it and we will visualize it too so uh, let's see uh, uh, you in the next video i hope you like this video and the the most amazing stuff will coming up in the next video thank you